Now let's take a look at the connector pieces. The connector pieces have to go into these body second sections here, and they have to also connect to each other. So we have a T9 connector that we're definitely going to use. Uh, what else do we have in here? A one block socket. And is that everything? A two block socket. Okay, so we need a two block socket. Again, hold down control. And then you can select the other things as well. Two block socket, T9 connector, and we should have a T9 one block socket. Say open, click anywhere. And we just need one of each of these guys. Doesn't really matter which one we put in here. Uh, one side gets one thing, the other side gets the other thing. Now what we do need is some constraints. So I'm going to say that this back edge, actually, let's make this easier on ourselves. Let's go with a flush constraint. So I want instead for selection one to be this front edge to be flush with this front edge. Go ahead and hit apply. Okay, and then I want Now, this is where it gets tricky. So all of these angles are swept in, so there's not a nice flat surface. So I can't just go and mate the inside of this to the inside of that. It's going to give me issues. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say that I want to mate this part. Actually, let me find this part. Hit the plus sign on it so we can see inside the origin folder. So open the part, open the origin folder. There's my different planes. Click on this part. That's this one up here in blue. Open the or origin folder so I can see these planes. Now this is going to make it much, much easier. We're going to go to constrain. I'm going to mate that center plane with that center plane. Hit apply. What that means, this can still move up and down. So we also want to mate that center plane horizontally with that center plane. Hit apply. Now it's snapped into place. This is the middle connector. Let's go ahead and take care of him. So we want this to match up with this face here, hit apply, and we're going to do the same kind of a thing. So we're not messing with the, the T9 bed anymore, that one's gone. We're messing with the T9 connector and the origin folder on that. So I want this to line up with this plane horizontally, we're all good. And again, this can still move left and right. So I'll we'll make another constraint with that vertical plane and this vertical plane over here. There we go. Now we just have one more to do. And we're going to start by saying that uh, this surface here should be touching, oh, that's going to be tricky. I believe it should be touching this surface here. Let's see if it, if it lines up correctly or not. Yeah, I think we're good. That's the way it should be. And then the other ways are going to be the same thing we've been doing. So first off, we still in that connector. We're looking at the two block socket now and the origin folder inside of that. Let's go to constraint. And we're going to use that YZ plane there. That YZ plane, apply those together. This can still move up and down, so I go to my constraint. And I want to pick the horizontal plane, the XC, and that XC plane, and meet those together. And it doesn't like that. Uh oh. So maybe that make constraint that I had doesn't work the way that I wanted it to. Let's delete mate 6. 
and try this again. I want my XC and my XC to be mated together. That needs to have a flush constraint. That was the issue. Okay, so this can still pull off. We want that mated with this. And that'll be the last of the connector subassembly.